Senior devotees should come forward by the blue light. Those who are senior, they decide to stop Swami Bhakti Vedanta. Swami Maharaj says, Come on. Oh, you should come, those who are senior most. <laughs> From tomorrow we should keep a site for senior devotee or female devotee. Come tomorrow you will sit here and they will sit here. Not today. Oh, in the night, they should sit here. All devotees, male devotees, sleep. Quickly. Huh? Quickly. 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 to Thakuji and then to me, not directly. Guru 
चरने राती गाते
namami nanda nanda 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 namami Shoulder, 
Well, <laughs> I have to choose these carefully. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so they stand up. ago, for the first time, my eternal guru, Srila Prabhupada, came to Los Angeles in January of 1968. He came to do a television show, and in that show, he chanted Jayarada Madhava Kunjabe Hari, chanted Hare Krishna, and then he described these things. For those who were listening and thought they knew something about Indian culture and philosophy, it was very humbling. Because as Sri Guru is one to do, one feels very humbled in their presence, thinking they know nothing. That is why we hear from Sri Guru. So Srila Prabhupada came, and it could be understood from that time that he had a very, very exalted, very mysterious love. We didn't understand much about that, but by his presence we felt something. By that love he opened up so many temples and had such a large society. And he was so powerful that in his manifest presence that love was felt in the temples and was felt by those who came to visit. That was the power of Srila Prabhupada. And if anything would go wrong in his society, he would be very alert for that, and he would quickly correct it. And that did happen a couple of times. Uh, if there was some philosophical divergence quickly, like a lion, he would come, and he would correct it. If there is something even material, like wanting to concentrate capital of the society, oh, if that would come, then the GBC would be disbanded. <laughs> so, he did this all prompted by that love, wanting us to ourselves experience it and not become diverted. So after Srila Prabhupada's disappearance, there is no one there to check and correct. And even some of that love that was so powerfully present, proceeding from his heart and his manifest presence, could not be felt. And so many of his followers were sad. But sad no longer because the Guru Parampara is eternal. In those days, even just a year before the divine disappearance of Srila Prabhupada, if you had gone to any temple and asked any devotee, whether most senior or new bhakti even, because of Prabhupada's presence, because it was understood, things were clear, and you asked, how will things go on? The answer you would have got would have been universal, no matter where you went. Any temple, everyone knew. If someone would suggest, oh, well, after he leaves, will there be a committee that then elects gurus? Oh, everyone would have said, bogus. <laughs> if they would make suggestion, oh, is it possible that he will be the last guru and will be initiating like that forever? You know, nonsense. Because <laughs> everyone knew what the truth was. Everyone knew. And Prabhupada made it very clear in his writings, and everyone would fear to even say something contrary, that the Guru Parampara is eternal. So we have to look, as Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, as our Srila Prabhupada has said, that that Acharya will be known by their self-effulgence. It's not that it's elected, 
It's not that it's finished. We're not abandoned. That love that Srila Prabhupada showed us was real, and it's continuing. And it's continuing in the presence of his natural successor, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Upananda Prabhu is here. Yes, here. You should speak to us. Uh, there's a verse in the Holy Shrimad Bhagavatam and it describes Bhagavat Sangi uh, association with Bhagavat pure devotees of the Lord who are sent for sin sold out to the lotus feet the Sisi Radha and Krishna that the fortune of such souls that get that opportunity cannot be compared to any material benediction not even liberation and every day all the billions of jivas are Attitude of competition, vying for uh, ascendancy in the material world to reach as high as they can go. And those who are a little more intelligent, they can see that this whole material game is just foolishness. And so they want to be found free from all this envy and strife and search for a higher plane of liberation. <clears throat> and maybe some of those Mumukshivis who are trying for liberation achieve a, a status of freedom. But the Lord describes also in Srimad Bhagavatam that such liberation without attachment to the lotus feet of the Lord is not complete. It's temporary. And those who attain such a status, they can still and will fall down. So those who want permanent shelter to achieve the highest status that human life offers, Sugade Vishwami says, Bhagavat Sangi Shangashas take association with Mahabhagwa pure devotees who are hundred percent engaged in the service of Lord traveling constantly in preaching the message of Vashikana Mahaprabhu and carrying the message of Mahaprabhu's dear most devotees like Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami. So Srila Gurudev, his heart is one Rupa with Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Ragnar Das. And he's trying to inject this in the hearts of living beings and we're trying to gather up that message as much as we can into our hearts so that we can become like him. He's giving us a perfect example to follow. Um, and no better example in the world. So our life is both fortunate, very blessed. There's no better, better place to be in this whole world than right here in the Forum Hotel this moment. 
So we want to thank you today for coming again, even at uh, such an advanced age. He's undergoing all the difficulties of international travel and moving here and there. And at the same time, of course, translating so many Bhagavad Gita's for us to relish and uh, understand more about Krishna Prema Bhakti. So thank you very much, Guru Dave. Kalpataru Bhascha Kripa Sindhu Prevacha Patita Nam Pavane Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Nama Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Istadalai <coughs> Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tada Bhaktaya Namo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 First of all, I'm offering my humble dandavat pranams unto the lotus feet of my beloved Gurudev, Nitya Lila, Pravishta Om Vishnu Pada Stotara Sata Shri Srimad, Esi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada. And then I'm offering equal <coughs> dandavat pranams to the lotus feet of my beloved Siksha Gurus, Om Vishnu Pada Stotara Sata Shri Srimad, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and Nitya Lila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pada Sto Tarasata Shri Srimad Bhakti Rakshak Shri Dhar Goswami Maharaj. To all of my Rupa Nuga Guru Varga and to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis who have come to this most auspicious assembly at the lotus feet of the Rasik Vaishnava. <coughs> When I heard the name of this hotel, then I thought, very appropriate, Furama, for Rama. <laughs> because that is actually the, the very theme of a pure devotee's life. Everything is for Ram, for Krishna. Their entire existence is 100% uh, merged with the existence of the Lord through pure loving devotion, mm, prem bhakti. They have no other purpose in this world. Their only purpose for uh, existence, their every life breath, uh, is to serve the lotus feet of their Ishta Dev, mm, Shishi, Guru Gauranga, and they're coming and traveling within this world. It is only for one purpose, to bring all the forgotten souls who have lost their relationship with his Ishtadev, to bring them back to the lotus feet of their lordships and to ignite the pure bhakti within their hearts so, such a personality is self-effulgent 
by his very qualities, uh, activities, and all the interactions that he has with everyone. So we should be able to see clearly if anybody examines the character of such pure Vaishnava, if they take the time, if they have the patience to sit in his presence, to hear the transcendental message of Harikata emanating from his lotus lips, and to also render service to his lotus feet, it is sure and certain, absolutely, that they will be impressed Oh, this is a divine representative of the Supreme Lord Himself, manifest within this world. So, when we speak of self-effulgent acharya, uh, it is clear to those whose eyes uh, are searching for such acharya. But for those who are not searching, or who also prefer to keep their eyes closed, oh, then He's not visible. Just as when Krishna is here, himself, personally within this world, some persons can also not uh, detect that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Even they want to challenge him and oppose him. But those who are on the path of light, those who are on the path of truth, oh, they will 100% accept. So there is one kind of bird called the owl. The owl keeps its eyes closed during the daytime, when the light is there, clearly. So the materialistic persons are compared to owls and to so many other types of uh, animals within this world. Dogs, hogs, camels, asses. So Srila Shukadeva Goswami has told that we should not be like this. We should not be like the gross materialists who are completely mad in sense gratification. Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma ya indriya prita ya apranoti. Our Srila Prabhupada used to preach these teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam so boldly here in the Western world, declaring to everybody that this Western civilization is completely mad with sense gratification. Pramatta. They're doing nothing but vikarma. They're trying to attain nothing but indriya priti, sense gratification. But this is very bad. Nasadu manye yata atmano yam. Asanna piklesha da asa deha. Because it will only produce suffering in the future. It will only bring another uh, temporary material body full of suffering and misery. So the pure devotee comes into the very citadel of Kali. Maharaj Kali, and he boldly uh, uh, speaks out the message of Krishna for all to hear. And those whose hearts are a little bit submissive and soft, when they see this personality and they hear his divine message, there is no question in their mind that they will submit to this personality, surrender to him. Tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshantite jnanam jnaninas tattva darshina and then he will impart into their hearts pure transcendental tattva tattva jnan that they will understand who they are who is Krishna what is this material world huh? how can we attain the ultimate goal of life Krishna Prem so we are so fortunate and we are so happy that on this day our beloved Guru Dev has come again. We have very short time in this life. Who knows? Very short. Every day, our God brothers and God sisters, we read another one on the internet, they've passed away, passed away. At any moment we can pass. So Sri Guru Dev is coming and he is telling us, take full advantage. Huh? Huh? That you should now, utishtata, jagrata, prapyavarani bodhata. Get up, take advantage of this human form of life. Surrender your whole self to Krishna. Don't be distracted by anything else. Only take shelter of Hari Nam Maha Mantra. And then your life will be successful. So we are praying at the lotus feet of our Gurudev that he will bless us 
that we can actually attain what he is trying to give to us so patiently. Year after year he is coming and he is trying to impart this to us. But we are still on the side of the, <laughs> the other side, like the dogs, hogs, camels and asses. So we should try to follow his lotus feet. I am praying that someday <laughs> in this life or some future life, I can actually understand and accept what he's giving. And I'm praying that his mercy will shower upon all of us so that we can follow his divine Vani. Mamagyanam timirandasya gyanam yana salakaya Chaksurun yalitam yena tajmai sri guru venama I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my paramarajita madikshi guru paripadma Nityalila pravishta om vishnu pad astotara sikasri shri manshala bhakti vidanta swami prabhupada and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramarajatama, Shikshi Guru Pada Padma, Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Siddha Sri Srimad Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayi Bhusan Maharaj. To all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. Today is the first day of the 2003 Summer World Preaching Tour. On the <laughs> On the first day of the winter tour, Srila Gurudev began in Australia, and he called that first day Guru Day because he was glorifying Sri Guru Tattva. On that day, he said that Guru comes to give this message: Lavdwa sudula bhumidam babusam bhavanti. Manusha Martadam Anitya Mapi Hadira Tornam Jajeta Napated Anumriti Yavan Nishreya Shaya Vishaya Kalasarvatapsya. That is, <coughs> after many, many millions of births and deaths, one finally comes to this very rare human form of life, which, although temporary, affords one the opportunity to attain the highest perfection. Therefore, until this body falls, doesn't fall down and die, a sober person spends all of his energy in endeavoring for that perfection. After all, sense gratification is available even in the most abominable species of life, whereas Self-realization is only available in this human form. So he comes to give that message. And what does he give? What happens when one serves such a Sri Gurudev? First, what is Sri? I asked Gurudev once in Bali some years ago. What does it mean when we say Sri, Sri Sri Guru, Guranga? He said two Sri's are short for Unlimited Sri's. <laughs> Unlimited Sri's reside within Sri Gurudev. There are so many Sri's in this world. Beauty, wealth, fame, knowledge, renunciation, strength. And there are Sri's of mystic powers. There are Sri's of spiritual perfections. Lakshmi Devi, there are unlimited Lakshmi Devi's. There are also Sri and they're all embodied in the Supreme Sri. When we say Sri Krishna, that means Sri Mati Radhika. And he comes to give Sri or Sriyam, that is the great treasure of service, unpaid service to the lotus feet of Sri Mati Radhika. So when one serves Sri Gurudev, what happens? Yat Sevaya Bhagavataha Kutasta Marudvisa, Vatirat So Bhavetivya, Padayor Vyasanard Naha. By serving that pure devotee, who is Kutasta, 
That is, he has no desire for anything in this material world, in, in the heavenly planets, for mystic powers, for liberation, in Vaikuntha, Dwarka, Matra, or even in Vrindavan, anything other than to serve that Madhudvisa. Kutastha also means mountain, and Madhudvisa means he who resides or plays on the mountain. We know that Madhudvisa means the killer of the Madhu demon, but it also means one who kills the so-called Madhu or honey of lust in this material world, destroys it at the root, and also one who enjoys the madhu or honey of the love of the gopis and gopis in Vrindavan, especially the love of the gopis, and that madhu visa he might say to them on the mountain of Govardhan, oh, I see that you're tired and perspiring. May I massage your feet, or may I wipe away your perspiration with my pitambra. So Kutasta, the Sri Gurudev has no desire other than to serve that Kutasta Marudvisa. And then what does he give? Rati, Bhava Bhakti. That is, when the heart melts with various tastes and one comes to the level of transcendence beyond the three modes of nature as a sprout of Krishna praying and so many beautiful symptoms come into his heart like he has no desire to get any prestige but he always wants to serve others he wants to always be in the holy places he has great taste for describing the qualities and glorifying the name of the Lord so he gives rati he gives greed for rasa for actually merging into all the mantras that we say, merging into the holy name and becoming a participant servant of those pastimes of Madhudvisa. And Padayor Vyasanarda Naha. Because he, Sri Gurudev, is a manifestation of Krishna, the unchangeable Lord, who takes away all the results of sins and material distress. So as a manifestation, not a human being, not a living being, but the actual manifestation of that Marudvisa, he gives Rati and Rasa, that entrance into those pastimes. So we offer him our humble obeisances and pray for his causeless mercy. Once in um, Germany, one devotee who had met Gurudev in Hawaii said, I wanted to thank you for all the help that you gave me in Hawaii. So Gurudev says, a disciple doesn't say thank you to Guru. He says, he begs for causeless mercy. So we do beg for that mercy. Our Praman and Guru.
तदवस्ता नमो यं प्रजतमुपेतमेतृत्यम द्वैपायनो का पुत्रे तन्मयतयाने तम सर्वूतरीदय भक्तियापरा क्षिप्ता कामतरंग कृपाई कं शरण प्रपन्ना वृंदेमस्ते चरणारविंद वृंदेमस्ते चरण my millions of dandat pranam into the lotus feet of my parmaradhatam guru pad padma shila bhakti pragyan keshav swami maharaj and in the lotus feet of my shiksha guru भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज मल्ली भाई देर मर्सीज कॉलेस मर्सी आई हैव कम in western countries eastern countries as and also in indian so many towns and cities <coughs> and preaching and or are very carefully hearing my words only there was i know that i have no qualification at all there mercy is only Godless mercy is my wealth and everything, and that is why all are honoring me. And especially you know that my Paramaradha Samshila Guru Dev, who sprinkled his godless mercy so much, so much, he has written in our. Jaya Dharma and other books that I published by his order to please him, and also you know how my Shiksha Guru, Shila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, used to love me, and he wrote me that your. you are your relation with me is transcendent i don't know why and what he thought that he took my hands in his hands and weeping with tear eyes he requested me to help his all devotees that he has collected collected from all over world they are like monkeys <laughs> so i want that and request that you must help me i remember this his words as if he is telling me today so when the for to please him to away my gurudev and him in the love of shila rupa goswami rupnath das goswami आप तो श्री भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर है श्री प्रभुपाद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी आई वॉन्ट टू गिव समथिंग लाइक ए गिफ्ट टू यू ऑल दैट योर लाइफ शुड बी सक्सेसफुल फॉर एवर आई वॉन्ट टू इंस्पायर यू बाई देयर वर्ड्स यू शुड नो दैट आई हैव नॉट कम फॉर एनी वेल्थ 
reputation or anything. Only to please them. Only to please them. That I should inspire the devotees, those who feel so much weak and so many giving up Hari Bhajan, the line of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj too. So weak becoming. And for that purpose I have come. So this should be Godless merciful to me, to you all, that you should be inspired. You should inspire. Try to go deeply in his books. Everything he has written, give him. Everything. And remnant, we are trying to give whole world. And we know that by this only folly, you can be happy in this world. Hmm? Not by what oh, Sriman Padmanam Maharaj told very frankly and clearly, clearly everything. Hmm? So, I want to, oh, also, what can I glorify them? Especially, Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, a person uh, who is not transcendental, uh, inspired by Krishna or Mahaprabhu, he cannot do all these miracles that in a couple of years he made very uh, cranti, revolution, revolution like. <coughs> He established so many preaching centers. Where? Amongst oceans, on hills, in, fro in forests, Sarnagati and so many. He brought all the, so many, or teenage girls and young. <laughs> At that time, they never thought that we will be householder. Never. They were totally engaged, fully engaged in his service. He was so attractive that he engaged all, top to bottom. Hmm? All they are inspired. But now some are like dooming. Yes. Doom? Yes, yes. Dooming? Yes. We like they come. We. So, I have come to remind you, remember, that you should remember that days and be like that. Also help me, help me also in this way. I want to, uh, to tell that so quickly he established so many teaching centers, especially his glorious work is that he published so many authentic books, so many, that a general man cannot give it, if he is not like transcendental mode. Also, oh, in all the prominent languages of whole universe, his books were translated. And by that, oh, very soon a revolution came. Everywhere, oh, we can find, oh, so many dis his disciples. There is no country left where his disciples are not there. Everywhere. I think that a new one, those who are coming by there, his influence all are coming. Especially when I tell that, oh, I am in the line of Srila Bhakti Pedan Swami Maharaj, your Prabhupada, and he has uh, sprinkled his mercy, then all are attracted. Otherwise not. <laughs> Anyone will let give me any importance. <laughs> Only by his name, what I am doing. So, I want to tell you, 
that we should know that what he wanted to preach, what Rupa Goswami wanted to preach, Sri Chaitanya Manu Vishtam Sthavita Jena Bhuta Swayana Rupa Hakada Mahyam Dadati But that, that was Manu Vishta of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is Sri Krishna Daska Virat Gutam, Srila Rupa Goswami himself told Anarpiti Charing Chirat Karaniya Shamarpaitam Unnata Jvalrasam Sabhakti Hari Kapoor at Sundar Tuti Katam Vasanti Sadari Rekam that is Purutvi. This is our main object of our life. This is the essence of all the teaching that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to distribute. His godless mercy that you should serve Radha and Krishna conjugal in the line of gopis. There is nothing beyond this. Nothing and nothing. So our prayojan is, prayojan means ultimate goal. ultimate goal to serve Radha and Krishna conjugal. What the Ch- Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed to Rupa Goswami and Rupa Goswami revealed in Bhakti Rasami Sindhu and especially in Bhakti uh, Ujjwal Neeman and other his books. This is our, our aim and object of our life. But how we can do? How we can do? Rupa Goswami will not come to you and tell any Goswami will not come. Swami ji came mercifully. Anyone never called him, never gave any invitation, not a single pipe that you should come, no help. But even he came. But because he was sent by himself Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda. And he tried. But in the end he was repenting. I could not do so much. Still so or weak so much. On his time so many uh, make made some disobedience to him. So he was very very for this, all this thing. And after his departure, you know everything. If I wanted to tell you what is bhakti, then you can follow Rupa Goswami. Bhakti Goswami Sindhu Ujjwal in many or his other books, Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Goswami. After that, Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami, Jiv Goswami and others, Vishwanacha Parthi Thakur, Bande Vidya Especially in Iron Age, Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So all these are. What is that Bhakti? We want to. Discuss about all these things. Anna Vilasita Sundam, Gyan Karmat Jana Pratam, Anukulle in a Krishna Nusidanam Bhakti. By all our senses, activities of all our senses. Beyond this, by mood, by bhav, without any interruption, oh, flow continuous like honey coming in the guidance of a realized devotees are guru Oh, mostly no worldly desire, giving up all the desires, even for Vaikuntha and Ajodhya and everything. Even Rupa Goswami even Santo Dasya, even doing pranam to Sakhyan Bhattal 
and in Sakhi Bhav, doing pranam. What we want to achieve? Sirup Manjari Mukha Tad Dasika That we want. The aim and object of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Saraswati Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati and Srila Prabhupada or Gurudev why not or that only to preach Kirtan? Why they introduce this Kirtan? Or oh, by means of this, any low class of devotee may come and one day understood, understand, oh, what is love and affection. And Chaitanya, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, third and fourth, first chapter, of oh, what has been told. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never came to Oh, Kirtan and all Yuga Dharma preaching. He came only for two reasons prominent and second. Radhaya Pranaya Mahima. And to taste that high class of love and to Ragmarga Bhakti. That are another picture in Shira. The mood of the Rukmanjari and others. He tried, but he, for, for he tried, he, he had to cut the jungles of all the things, unwanted things, Mayaba, Istri Sangi, Sajiya, Saki, Beki, and all other things. For life he had to do. Again coming, cutting, again coming. <laughs> so his main object was to give this. So, you should know what is that bhakti. Realize that in whole life you should not be weak. Always inspired and developing your Krishna bhakti. For this you will have to know so many things. So many things. After lakhs and lakhs, but uh, Sukriti, I think that you know of Sukriti. Sukriti, hmm? oh, some Shraddha comes. Before that, you will see Sukadeva Goswami, Narada Goswami, even no Shraddha, then, oh, you will not know that who is he. Hmm? You cannot have honor to their words. So first, Shraddha will come. How it will come? By millions of lives, so much Shukrati, and then a Shraddha will come. What Shraddha? Transcendental. Some things that Shraddha is very easy, but that Shraddha is laukiki, material. No, real or transcendental Shraddha. If once a transcendental sattha come, then what will be? Oh, he will swear, swear will go, eh? advancing and advancing. So what is that sattha? Sattha sabde vishwas kahe? Sudhirna vishwas. Oh, like Pranat Mahara, Haridhar Thakur, Srila Raghunath Das Kursani. Oh, I may be done. Oh, anyone will cut me into pieces, but I cannot give up chanting name and his bhakti. So peace, uh, honor will come. Honor for the words of epics, honor for the words of Krishna, the honor for the words of the devotees and Gurudev. Then this is called Shraddha, otherwise not Shraddha. Oh, doing pranam and when he went away, oh, this was a very wicked person. So this is not Sattva. We will try to discuss all these things. What is Sattva? And then what is Nistha? What are Anartha? How to get rid of all these Anarths? And then Nistha. What is Nistha? 
and then no ruchi. Hmm? What is taste? Ruchi. If ruchi comes, no fear. Hmm? No fear. We will go straight. One point. Only fear. Up to fear, uh, up to this taste, ruchi. Our time is very critical. In this critical time, when they have left everything to do bhajan and they have not realized anything, no tasting, chanting, hearing harikatha in Vaishnava seva, in other seva. Very critical. I know that in this time, oh, black sack, black devotee of Swamiji left. They became quite opposing. They became nasty. <laughs> Atheist. Hmm? Now they are criticizing their Guru Devan um, too. He was not Guru. So we want that. You should know all these things and realize. After that, you should know what is your Shakti. Attachment to Krishna, attachment to your bhajan. And after that, mood will come. Shuddha Sattva. Hey, what is bhav? What is Shuddha Sattva? Hmm? We should try to know. Try to realize in this human life. And after that will come Prem, Shne, Man, Prane, Ra, Anura, Bhav, Mahabhav, Rudha, Adhirudha, then Mohan, Modan, and in the last, oh, the special mood of Radhika will come. When you will know all these things, that, then you will be one pointed Dasya of Radhika. And that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to give you. So, I want to discuss and touch all these points in three days, but... <laughs> <laughs> so those who are hungry for this, they may come to desert. Uh, oh, Maharaj wants that he should be finished here. <laughs> he is very hungry. I cannot disobey him. <laughs> He's my personal doctor, advisor, my commander in chief. <laughs>